Hey, so, uh, I'm really tired, so if I, like, fumble or just look kind of weird, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how this video is going to kind of go. Uh, <laughs> it's because I'm tired. So I wasn't going to upload for a few days. Um, granted, I got that stuff coming up on Patreon, but, um, I saw something that inspired me. A video that I... <laughs> when I thought that Gore couldn't get more, um... Theatrical. Okay. <laughs> it did. But before all that, I'd like to give a quick plug to my wife's channel. She just started doing hers, and she's actually taken off real strong. She's doing intuitive tarot, oracle, and pendulum readings, and her channel is taking off really strong. I'm really proud of her and just wanted to let you guys know that she's open on Etsy to actually do private readings, and she's actually being booked up pretty quick. Um, kind of sporadic, but quite a few. It's kind of cool. Um... Definitely check the pinned comments down below for her channel if anything like that interests you or, or you're interested in educating yourself on the occult and tarot and things like that because she's going to be diving into that on her channel as well. And honestly, I mean, the comments and stuff on her channel I think speak for themselves. I mean, I boosted her once and she hooked everybody in, so good for her. And like I said, I'm working on something for Patreon. It's my Christchurch special, uh, which is part two of the Infamous Four series, which is my most controversial media docu-series I'm kind of doing on there. Part one was Columbine. That's up to watch right now if you become a patron. Also, you get Discord perks if you're a plague bearer, so that's cool. But, you know, I've talked about ISIS and the cartel being like the mad scientists of murder. More the, more the cartel, I think, than ISIS. I actually haven't really touched upon ISIS too much on my channel yet. There's a reason for that. And the reason is... Well, I haven't felt like it. And really, it's hard to pick and choose because the things they do are batshit wild, man. <laughs> He's so sick. He's glamorizing death. He's making money off dead people. Your mom. But anyway, so it's like these guys literally come up with the most wild ways to kill people, okay? ISIS in particular honestly likes to test their shit on living targets, I think, like their arsenal, the things they buy. At one point, they actually killed a guy with an, um, like an anti-aircraft missile, or an anti-tank missile, I think it was. Um, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's really creative, man. It's just like, screw it, we got a missile. We'll get more. I mean, it's really twisted stuff, but earlier, um, well, not earlier, uh, more like the other day, because this was supposed to be out yesterday, I found a video that, um, just, uh, while well, I was reading about another topic and I found it. Ironically, I found this on a Christian website, which blew my mind. This was normally just like a Christian news site, and it's just like, BAM, ISIS gore. And <laughs> it answered questions, and I'm laughing because at this point, I think my channel's messed me up. But you know what? That's okay. I'm very thankful for all you guys that like to stick around to the crazy with me, and I can help uh, you comprehend and get your gore fixed without having to mentally scar yourself. And, um... One day I'll probably get therapy and they'll tell me to stop and I'll be like, no. So, in before a comment from a faceless nobody who's going, the content is just him talking. Well, it's really gross. Okay, so what happened was, of course it was in beautiful 4K, and well, ISIS got themselves a Syrian prisoner, allegedly. I'm also guessing by the, by the number of orange jumpsuits they go through, they have Amazon Prime because there's no way in hell you're getting them that quick with how many people you're putting out. But, I guess what the Syrian man did is he was running over, um, Islamic State people. Uh, apparently they were dead. I mean, I guess that's still disrespectful to the dead, but with a tank. He was a tank driver. So somehow, ISIS got their hands on the poor bastard and threw him on the hot asphalt barefoot and handcuffed in front of a tank. And, uh, need I say more? <laughs> I'm gonna say more because that would be the end of the video and that'd be really boring. The video starts out with 19 year old Fadi Amar Zidan stating his name and where he's from. Then he explains that he ran over the dead bodies with the tank. I mean, it's a pretty generic, you know, terrorist execution video. State your name, state your business kind of shit. Like, no, I mean, it's like, state your name, where you're from, who's your family. It's just to confirm your identity and why they're doing this kind of thing. I get it. Uh, doesn't make it any less bad. Remember, kids, terrorists are cringy. Like, don't be a cringy terrorist. Be a goddamn patriot. He goes on to say that he joined the army under contract with Air Force Intelligence. And basically, he was assigned as a tank driver and just did what he did. Following this, a cringy terrorist dressed in all white comes out and pretty much explains the same thing and that he would be punished by, of course, being run over by a tank. Then he's handcuffed and thrown into the street in front of the tank, barefoot on the hot asphalt, and I make that a point because I cannot imagine, I mean, beyond the fear of knowing what's about to happen to you in this situation, I cannot get this robot wiener to be, like, 
to behave. Then he's handcuffed and uh, thrown into the street in the hot asphalt barefoot, and I keep emphasizing that because I don't know if you've ever walked on asphalt as a kid in the summertime with your bare feet like a dumbass, but Moth has. And I can tell you it hurts, so I cannot imagine arid desert climate with asphalt. Like, where are you at? Where was this? I mean, whatever. Not the point. What happens is, is he starts trying to hop away while he's in front of this tank like he's got his feet in a pillowcase. And the tank driver hits the gas, and the result is, well, um, to say the least, crunchy. This did answer questions I've had for a long time in regards to being run over by a tank or a steamroller, and yes, to confirm the theory, your body does indeed behave like a tube of toothpaste, and I mean, you want to talk about the definition of street pancake, I advise that you do not look up this uh, video. Um, on top of that, there are just images on Reddit of the aftermath, because following the crunchy, the crunchy roll, <laughs> that's for the weebs out there, but... Um, the camera kind of just pans over to, uh, well, kind of cuts over to the end results. And I swear to you, it's like the way the light refracts off the blood and the asphalt, and it's just like, it's incredible, the camera quality. Like, I really need to invest into that kind of shit. I mean, not like execution or anything. I don't, I don't need to do any of that. Moth ain't violent like that. But, I mean, the camera's cool, but I mean, in time here, Moth might be in 4K for you guys. I think that'd be cool. 4K? 60 FPS? Mmm, man, I'll be, like, I'll be like, I'm right there. You can just reach out and, like, stroke the beard. I sometimes keep Cheerios in it. After the tank completes its course, our, you know, Isis Grand Dragon and White and Du Bois watching, um, they begin celebrating and hooting and hollering and all that fun stuff. You could tell I've been in the South too damn long. And the video, like I said, just... It, it just... It basically just showcased the results. It's like anything else with ISIS or the cartel or any gang thing or anything like that. They obviously want to show what they're doing and send a message. And that's what the whole point of this was. It's basically that, you know, they're trying to get control. It's a, it's all political crap that I really don't want to go into. I don't think anybody's here for the political end of why this guy got ran over by a tank. Uh, except for the details of just as how he got there, I guess. And the gist of it is, is he was a Syrian soldier, ran over dead ISIS soldiers with a tank. And how they knew this, how they knew it was him, and all that, I have no idea. But if you actually think about that, that's a little bit, uh, scary. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to have quite a bit more, um, videos on these guys, these little cringe lords out here. This terrorist cell cringe lord at fest. This cringy terrorist fest. Being a terrorist is cringy, guys. Don't be unpatriotic and rude. You know, support your country no matter where you're at. Um tastefully but I got like more videos in relation to ISIS's shenanigans too I'm just kind of trying to space things out to where it's not overwhelming like uh, how I got like three beheadings out in a row didn't really think about that till afterwards and I'm like hmm but uh, I mean one video in particular I don't know if I'm making a video about it but they just like throw a bunch of C4 down basically I don't know if it's the technical explosive I don't care and they just have guys lay on top of it and kaboom the stain's gone <laughs> like it's bad like i mean they it, it's almost it's just remarkable the ideas people come up with it's it's it, it's like it's like tiktok challenges except you know murder it's not comparable i really don't know how to compare it to anything because this is just grotesque and barbaric and it's just really fascinating the length these guys will go to send a message and <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm laughing about it because there's some on, there's just the amount of production quality and background music and editing that goes into ISIS execution videos is incredible. Like, these guys pop open Premiere and they're just like, damn, I'm gonna put this in After Effects. Oh, man. Why don't you add... <laughs> man, like shit, dude. There's one involving, I mean, I can't, I don't want to spoil it, but there's a lot to talk about on this subject as far as gore goes for sure, but I'm working on quite a few things. Uh, right now, I just wanted to pop this video out because it was kind of fascinating to me and I figured I'd share it with you guys to keep you interested. I'm working on something extra for Patreon as well because again, I'm running into issues. Um, bad luck, I guess. My uh, video on putrid sex object, I'm gonna redo and re-upload because it was like a live review. Or not, by redo, I mean re-edit. I have like the raw file to edit, but my completed file jacked up, I guess, or the upload did, and then I deleted the exported file. 
So I'm going to redo that. I got a new video as well as the Infamous 4 coming out. I can't say they're all going to drop at once, but I'm going to try to drop them frequently. We got um, three more days as of right now. That's uh, June 15th. You're going to see the next episode of the Infamous 4. We're going to talk about Christchurch, you know. And it, it's it's crazy, actually, the amount of backstory go, they went into that. Like, there's a lot. There's a lot to all of that. So... All the necessary links to find my wishlist, Patreon, and Twitter, and all that stuff will be down in the description as well as pinned in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my wife's channel. Give her a subscribe. Give her a like. Uh, check out the channel if you're into stuff like uh, the occult, tarot, pendulum readings, oracle cards, or just want to learn more about it. Just curious. She has also been uh, developing meditative music and working on guided meditations too. So really cool, just chill music to relax to. But thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you for sharing some laughs, hopefully, with me over this horrible, horrible event. I mean, rest in peace, the guy who went smoosh. But I'm rambling. Thank you all for watching. I'm Plague Moth, if you don't know, which I'm sure you do by now. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Check out all my links and all that fun stuff. And um, nope. see you later. Mm.